My name is Jamie Hanoa. I live in The Hague in Holland. I'm 30 years old and I'm a musician, as you can say. I studied in music university for five years and I finished in 2015. And I studied guitar, Brazilian music, um, also some jazz and classical music. And I focused also on education for children and adults. I started to give lessons in the Paulus Church, in the Paulus Kerk, um, through my teacher from the Music University. I studied there the last year, I did a minor called uh, Education and Pedagogy, and I had to do an internship. I had like one and a half hour to give guitar lessons to whoever. <laughs> And um, everyone could just enter the room and they can leave whenever they like. So no structure, nothing. And I had a few guitars, so I just had to see. And um, well, it started out with already uh, quite some people who participated. And they were, it was very broad. It was very broad. So there were refugees, there were people with... With not so much money, maybe on welfare, as you, welfare as you can say. You also had people who just had jobs or were studying. They were coming. They were children sometimes, and homeless people. So everything, every person <laughs> was there, and also with their um, different levels of guitar playing. So beginners, advanced people. And at that point, I just gave lessons in a, in a private way, or in a group way, but in an organized group way. So this was totally different, totally different. It was sometimes very chaotic, and I had to deal with that. I didn't set any goals. No, I, I, my goal was not to set a goal, so do not expect anything. So the most important thing for me was that people would enjoy guitar playing. That's the most important thing. And also that the thing that they were learning also was something that they would like to learn. So not in a way of, okay, you play, you need to play C major chord, you need to play a D major chord, no. No, that's not, that's not, that's not it. I would, if, if the lesson would start and a new person enters, I would talk to this person individually. What would you like to learn? What music do you like? What, what, where do you come from? You come from, from Italia, let's play some Italian music if you like. You would like to play classical music? Fine. And then, if you set this goal individually, you can, as a teacher, say, okay, you can put some sub-goals. So, if you would like to play this song, you need to play these and these chords. You need to learn that basic, basic things. So, the goal was actually to just, that they could learn what they would like to learn and they, that they were having a good time. My experience is really, really, I'm really thankful for doing this, really thankful. This is one of the, one of the jobs, one of the things, one of the things I do in life that I wouldn't give up. I do a lot of different things and I'm cancelling a lot of different projects because, well, for, for many types of reasons, but this project is I, really... Um, really dear to me. You, you can feel more value as a person, more valuable. I don't mean to society, but I mean like internally. So, really practically, if you can, if, you, if you're not able to play the guitar and at some point you can play the guitar or you can play a song. This can bring such satisfaction and joy to you that it will give you more value in life. And the people sometimes we work with, 
they don't have this anymore in daily life. So they don't have a job maybe, they don't have any money, they don't have any friends, they're isolated, they have a negative view of the world. So to do something as simple as this, to have a guitar and play and have a certain feeling of joy and share this with other people, this can be really valuable and that's what art can do. Well, if you're working with a, with a group that has complications, then I think it's really important as a teacher to let go of, of, the, of the goals of your lesson. Normally, you would have a plan what to do in a lesson. Like, he will learn this chord, he will learn this skill, he will learn this rhythm, maybe. Com uh, yeah. But it, I, now, I think with this, with this situation, um, you have to let go of, what, of your expectations. That, help, that helps a lot. That helps a lot. Because otherwise you're really forcing yourself and the student to do this, even, even though it's not the situation. Even though they would like to learn something else. So yes, expectations, letting go of expectations.